Well, and I know we just navigated through kind of a very vulnerable thing for me recently. I'm not always the best at asking for help. So if we're going for vulnerability of me being vulnerable here, I'm going to go all out here. Okay. Um, I am not the best at asking for help or even receiving it. And so I have placed a lot of focus on navigating through that recently. And as my partner, I came to you and said, hey, I'm navigating through this. I'm going to be very vulnerable here. I could really use your help in this area. And then bam, I was met with something that I honestly did not expect. Not an uncaring response, just an unanticipated response. And I know when we are being vulnerable, sometimes we have expectations of the outcome. Right. And that can send us right back into protective, hmm. right? And so when that happened for me, because that is exactly what it triggered, I was vulnerable and I'm like here, and then you had an unanticipated response that kind of sent me back into, oh, I need to be protective because that was not what I anticipated. What was that like for you on the receiving end of that? If you're willing to be vulnerable and share, because <laughs> it happens, it just... Uh, it was a good opportunity for me too. Uh, I feel like we unintentionally set each other up for that, um, where when my response was not received as I anticipated, then we almost both, we had the same experience just in two different ways. And so you know, it kind of reminded me a lot of what you and, and um, Reverend Poole were talking about, where sometimes when, we have, when we're communicating, we all, all of us have this, sometimes we just want, we talk, and then we're already thinking about what we want to say. And sometimes we'll even set ourselves up, we'll ask a question, not to hear someone else's response, but just to be able to hear, just to show that we know something about the subject or, uh, you know, hey, I've done it myself. I understand, like, not like seeking to be un um, intentionally crafty by any means, but um, just maybe in triggered by an insecurity. And in a way, what you're presenting is that when we have these conditions, it's almost like an emotional version of that. Mm -hmm. where we're setting ourselves up um, when we have that kind of expectation we're setting ourselves up to pull back to where we feel comfortable which is protection mode and so it was a good opportunity for me to recognize okay where in, where personally in, in my own ego is this coming up why when I know in my heart that you know hey if I respond in a way that I thought was loving and caring, but it was not received as such. How can I step out of my own self to recognize that when my partner, or in essence, anyone, is seeking that type of vulnerability, it's not about me, it's about them in that moment. And so how can I get out of my own way to be there for that person, for you. Um, because later in the conversation, once your request has been addressed, I can always circle back. It doesn't have to be right now. That is another expectation in and of itself, is that we expect an immediate response or immediate result. Yes. And so, we're just putting expectation on expectation upon expectation. And we're, eventually we're just setting ourselves up for failure in that sense. So if we can pull ourselves back from that, respond as best as we can, but genuinely from a place of, am I actually hearing what this individual is saying and what they're requesting? And am I answering it as best as possible? And if not, seek to understand 
and then circle back later and understand why the response that was given was not received in that way to help for future communication. So it's almost as though there's a need to meet my request, my vulnerability with vulnerability. Mm. Sure. Because where it was coming from was that strength and yes and ho. Oh. And I'm being vulnerable and opening up. And so when vulnerability gets met with that, it's almost overwhelming. Like, wait a second. Whoa. So not that there isn't a need from me who's being vulnerable to let go of expectation because true vulnerability is about letting go yeah. of expectation yeah. and just opening up and whatever comes back allowing that not that there aren't boundaries and i feel it is very important for us to discuss the difference between letting go of expectation and not needing to be protective so that you can be truly vulnerable but honoring boundaries that allow you to feel comfortable in the exchange and i feel like that's what we were able to navigate into because in that exchange that we had my immediate was to pull back into protection and then i had to take my own step back and go wait a second i just went into protective mode that's getting us nowhere let's instead return to okay here are my boundaries and this is why i was triggered and then be vulnerable and i have to explain that to you right. so you could go oh i didn't even realize i had done that now let's start from here and talk through it even more yeah